uh, Secretary Pompeo saying that all of our diplomats have left the country, that's a key indicator of warning that uh, there's a military option in the mix brewing. And, and in my point of view, uh, what we really need to do, th this is a humanitarian crisis of epic proportions. We've also got a nexus between Russia, Iran, and Hezbollah and Cuba there uh, that, uh, you know, they, they, they are enemies of our nation. And, and we've also got the world's largest oil reserves there. So we got a lot of compelling reasons to be there. Mm -hmm. And so we need a sophisticated plan, uh, much like we had in 1994 with the Haiti invasion, where we had a peacekeeping force on an aircraft carrier offshore. And we had the 82nd Airborne Division in the air. And we had Colin Powell, Sam Nunn, and Jimmy Carter meeting with Cedrus, the dictator. And it really was brinksmanship up until till the 11th hour. And so something of that nature where we can come in and provide humanitarian relief. We've got the uh, armed teeth of uh, the 18th Airborne Corps that is bearing down on uh, Caracas and, and uh, the, the no, very well-known places that Maduro hides out. Uh, we can target those pretty surgically. And then we need to protect Guaido, and, and we need to bring him into power, and, and we need to help in a very big way uh, the uh, Venezuelan people. That, that is the number one uh, purpose here. And then the number two would be to uh, get rid of Iran, uh, Russia, Hezbollah, and Cuba out of that uh, you know, area. That's a four-hour flight from the United States. It's, uh, you know, we've got enemies uh, knocking on the door there that are not far away when you talk about some of these intercontinental ballistic missiles that are being made today. All right, so walk me through the, the first part, which is getting Maduro out and Guaido in so that he can call for those free elections. Uh, Maduro's not going anywhere. In fact, I spoke a couple of weeks ago with his right. uh, so-called vice president, Delcy Rodriguez, who said to me, we're not going anywhere, Trish. So if, if they're not budging, how do you influence this um, from a military perspective? Does this mean special forces? Yeah, I mean, he can watch the movie, Oh, Dark 30, and, uh, you know, figure out what happened to Osama bin Laden. Uh, he can, uh, you know, watch what happened to Noriega. Uh, we have the capability to, to get in there uh, and, and uh, do what we need to do to remove Maduro. Uh, obviously, it would be better to do that diplomatically, mm -hmm. applying the diplomatic element of power there with uh, some, some diplomats going down there and negotiating with him mm -hmm. and telling him it's a lost cause. So that, that's obviously the best that. method. They, they're, they yeah. are trying that. They're, they're trying that, but he needs to understand that a bullet to the forehead uh, may be his way out of Venezuela. So, uh, I mean, that's just the, the bottom line. And, and uh, we have that capability. And if uh, we've removed our diplomats, that's a, that's a real key indicator and warning that uh, we're getting ready to uh, tighten the screws on uh, the Maduro regime.